For years, we looked at Jupiter and thought we had it figured out. A big ball of gas and storms, mostly hydrogen. It seemed like a leftover from when our solar system was young. But what if there's more to the story? What if Jupiter isn't just a messy world of crazy weather and volcanic moons, but something way more organized, maybe even aware? After almost 10 years circling Jupiter, NASA's Juno spacecraft is almost done. But right before it goes down into the swirling clouds, Juno sent back some weird stuff it wasn't expecting. Images and data that break the rules of how planets work. It wasn't just cool to look at, but it acted strange. Patterns, pulses, things reacting as if Jupiter isn't just a planet. Juno's last act was getting close to Io, a moon that's so active it seems alive. Getting as close as 1,500 kilometers in 2023 and 2024, it took unreal pictures of lava shooting out into space. But what made these pictures so wild wasn't just the explosions, but how organized they were. Some eruptions seemed to happen at the same time, like they were on a schedule. Even weirder, Juno's instruments picked up a magnetic change when it flew over the big Loki Patera lava lake. It wasn't a little thing. It was like something under Io's surface was reacting to the spacecraft. The data hinted at volcanoes hundreds of kilometers apart acting together, which shouldn't happen. Maybe Io isn't just dealing with gravity, but something else. Juno's mission wasn't just about the moons. It was about looking under Jupiter's thick, colorful clouds. When it headed over Jupiter's North Pole, its microwave tool showed something that didn't make sense. Pictures showed a normal cyclone, but the microwave data showed nothing. The middle of the storm, the eye, had no energy deep down. It was like the storm was just on the surface. Other cyclones nearby were full of energy below, but not this one. It was empty, quiet, invisible to the tools that can see under the clouds. One scientist called it a mask, a fake storm, a perfect circle, quiet in the middle, not like any other storm on Jupiter. This means that something might have made that storm on purpose. Flying through Jupiter's crazy radiation belts, Juno's instruments picked up weird heat from one of the smallest moons, Amalia. Only 84 kilometers wide and shaped like a potato, no one thought Amalia was important. But during Juno's 59th flyby, it saw something odd. Amalia was glowing red. And it wasn't just shining, it was pulsing. Heat going on and off with Juno's flyby. When the probe went out of sight, the pulses stopped. At first, they thought maybe it was from gravity or electricity from Jupiter's magnetic field, but the heat got stranger when they saw the pulses matched with a magnetic wave from Jupiter's equator. It was like Amalia got a message and answered. Was this just luck, or was this tiny moon part of a bigger system? Saturn has its rings, but Jupiter has faint, dusty rings too. But when Juno got close, something changed. The sensors saw weird density in the outer rings. Spots of stuff moving in ways they shouldn't. Instead of going smoothly, small bits of stuff sped up against their path, moved out of line, then went back. These changes were small but kept happening. And they always occurred when Juno crossed through a magnetic area from Jupiter. Scientists don't know why this is happening. Jupiter's rings are too thin for this kind of thing. One idea was that charged particles were messing with the dust, but the patterns were too exact. One physicist said it was like they're being told when to move. If so, then Jupiter's rings are more than just space junk. For centuries, the Great Red Spot has amazed everyone. A giant storm bigger than Earth, spinning for over 350 years. But Juno's microwave and infrared data showed something hidden. The spot is changing in crazy ways. Deep inside, temperatures change all over the place, while the winds on the surface stay the same. In one flyby, Juno saw a heat pulse come out of the storm, a 20% jump in temperature in less than a minute. Even stranger, the red spot isn't closed off. Juno's sensors caught hot gas coming out of the spot and going east like a vine before disappearing. Weather doesn't do that. Unless the storm is more than just a storm. Some think the Great Red Spot is using energy from inside Jupiter. Others think it's just a pressure release. But it's clear that this storm isn't dying. It's getting steady. And it may be part of a system too big for us to know about. 
Jupiter's striped clouds are caused by strong jet streams. Winds going around the planet at over 300 miles per hour. But Juno saw weird stuff happening in the jet stream. The jet stream started to break down, making messy patterns. Beautiful, but there was order in the mess. The clouds, when looked at in order, showed shapes, hexagons, spirals, curves like weather tracing fractals. The movement showed loops that finished every 6.2 hours, Jupiter's rotation. But some loops finished in 3.1 hours, half the time. Some even quartered it, forming repeating shapes like gears. It seemed like a rhythm, a heartbeat. Was this normal, or was it something else? One of Juno's goals was to figure out what Jupiter is made of, especially how much water is there. It mapped where hydrogen and oxygen were in the planet's atmosphere. But it didn't add up. There should have been water near the equator, but Juno saw less than it expected. It should have been full of heavy elements. Instead, it was empty. Scientists think that the water is being moved. But where? In 2024, Juno saw big heat readings in Jupiter's lower atmosphere, too deep for the sun and too spread out to be volcanoes. It seemed like warm liquid under a dense gas, an ocean inside a gas giant. This breaks how we think planets are made. Even stranger was the movement, columns of stuff going up and down like breathing. Is something moving inside Jupiter, like a monster that feeds inside and breathes out through storms? Juno's mission is ending in September 2025, where it will go down for the last time and burn up. But on its 69th flyby, something weird happened. Juno's communication system stopped for three seconds. Not the sun, not a mistake, but a total stop. When the signal came back, nothing was wrong. But the time was noted, 3.141 seconds, close to pi. Maybe it was luck. But during that time, the probe was above an area where the magnetic stuff had spiked. NASA called it a small delay. But engineers weren't so sure. One document said, the planet blinked. Since then, the flight path was changed. Juno being protected? Or kept away? The probe is almost done, but maybe Jupiter already decided what it will show us. Juno wasn't supposed to live this long. It wasn't made to the foundations of planetary science. It was made to watch, learn, and send data. But Jupiter had other ideas. What Juno saw was rhythm, pattern, coordination, design. From moons that pulse with the planet's beat to storms that vanish. From rings that move on their own to clouds that dance in spirals. Jupiter stopped being a planet. It started acting like a system, with layers we're just seeing and protections we were never meant to get past. Now, as it goes down for the last time, Juno will be destroyed. Not because it's old, but because it saw too much. Maybe we weren't orbiting a gas giant. Maybe we were orbiting a gate, a processor, a signal tower, or something far older. And if so, maybe Jupiter isn't just big. It may be a secret. For hundreds of years, the Great Red Spot has amazed us. It's a huge storm, twice the size of Earth, spinning like crazy for over 350 years. But Juno's high-quality data showed something new. The spot is changing in weird ways. The temperature inside goes up and down like crazy, while the winds on the surface stay the same. One time, Juno saw a heat spike coming from the storm center, a 20% jump in less than a minute. Even stranger, the red spot is not closed off. Juno's stuff caught hot gas coming out of the spot, like a vine, before disappearing into the clouds. Weather doesn't do that. It doesn't send out streams unless the storm is more than just a storm. Some now think the great red spot might be getting energy from inside Jupiter. Others are careful, calling it a release valve. But it's clear that this storm is not dying. It's staying steady. And it might be part of something too big for us to get. Jupiter's clouds are driven by fast winds, moving around the planet. But Juno saw weird stuff in these winds during the 61st to 66th orbits. In the northern area, the wind started breaking apart, making wild patterns. Pretty, but there was pattern in the wildness. The cloud movements, when looked at closely, showed shapes repeating, like weather systems tracing fractals. 
analysts found loops that finished every 6.2 hours, Jupiter's rotation time. But some loops finished in 3.1 hours, half the time. Some even quartered it, making quadrants like gears. The data didn't just show movement. It showed rhythm, like a planetary heartbeat. Was it just crazy air, or something more? Juno was seeing storms that knew their own timing. One of Juno's last goals was to figure out what Jupiter was made of inside, especially how much water. But something didn't make sense. They expected water near the equator, but Juno found little to none at the core. It should have had a lot of heavy stuff with ice. Instead, it was empty. This made scientists think about something weird. Jupiter's water is moving. But where to? In 2024, Juno recorded heat below the equator, too deep for the sun to heat it and too spread out to be volcanoes. It looked like warm liquid under thick gas, an ocean within a gas planet. That breaks everything we know about how planets are made. But even more scary was the movement, stuff rising and falling. Is something moving inside Jupiter, eating from inside and breathing out through storms? Juno's mission is set to end in 2025 when the probe makes its 77th and last dive before burning up. But on its 69th trip, something weird happened. Juno's systems went dark for three seconds. Not from the sun, and not from failing, but a total stop. When the signal came back, nothing was wrong. But the time, 3.141 seconds, was close to pi. A coincidence? Maybe. But during the stop, the probe was above a place where the magnetic field had spiked. NASA called it a small delay. But some engineers weren't so sure. One note said, the planet blinked. Now, the flybys are going farther from that spot. Is Juno being protected or kept away? The probe is almost done, but maybe Jupiter has already decided what it will let us see. Juno wasn't supposed to last so long. It wasn't built to find mysteries that broke the rules. It was built to watch, measure, and send data. But Jupiter had other plans. What Juno found wasn't just weather, or magnetism, or volcanoes. It found rhythm, pattern, echoes of working together. From moons pulsing with the planet's heart to storms disappearing under microwave eyes. From rings moving when nothing touches them to clouds dancing in circles. Jupiter stopped being a planet. It started acting like a system. A system with layers we're only starting to see, and safety we were never supposed to pass.